What's your name? Sarah Stewart. And what age are you? I'm 20 years old. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, I've never done anything like this before. And what's your goals and aspirations? I think my goal would be how my mum really wanted me to get into modelling at first when I was really young and I seen the idea and I really liked it because my gran, as I was saying when she passed away, before that she always wanted me to be a model. She knew it was hard but she knew I could do it and that is one of the inspirations as well as my best friend support, Leon, has to. I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for my parents, my gran and my best friends. Perfect, perfect. Well it seems like a long journey. Have you any advice for future uh, contestants at all? Just be yourself because don't ever let anyone dim your light because if you're not going to believe in yourself then you're never going to get there. Like it took me, the, it honestly took me, the, um, I had to learn it the hard way. Um, it took a while but I'm here, like five years ago I wouldn't have done this but I'm doing absolutely amazing and I still was then. Perfect, thank you so much and good luck for the rest of the contest. Thank you so much. Sarah, how are you? Good, thank you. You're nervous tonight? You okay? <laughs> you don't look it. You're unnatural. What do your family and friends think about you taking part tonight? They've been very supportive. I don't know if you're trying to go somewhere. There's a little shout there. Yeah. And what is it you do? Uh, I'm a server at Glasgow Airport. Wow. Well, they've checked many people in here. No? I don't know. Served them drinks? What's your ideal holiday destination? I think my ideal holiday destination would have to be um, Spain and Tulu um, because it reminds me of when I was little, when I used to go holidays with family. I haven't been since I was about 12, but with my parents it was honestly amazing, so I would do that again just to feel amazing. Lovely. And if you're stranded on a desert island, what two things would you take with you? It would have to be my best friend and food. Both good choices. Good, thank you so much. Take another new I just know that I would go to any ends to do it, except from water and the dark, because that's my big spear. <laughs> so that's not like that. It is. Thank you so much. Take another box out of that. experience of Miss Glasgow? Absolutely amazing and it's brought up my confidence in the love of the most good. And what's been your highlight so far? I honestly think it's meeting the girls and getting the support and just realising that it wasn't just me who was a little bit nervous about that. We're going through it, I've actually experienced this because I wasn't 100% sure but I was like, you know what, it's one experience, you don't know if you're going to get it again and just absolutely 
And if you were this year, what would you bring to you as Miss Glasgow? I'd bring really good positive thoughts for everyone and um, for the girls who are going to join Miss Glasgow next year. I really want to know that no matter what, because um, I used to get bullied when I was younger and five years ago, even two years ago, I never thought, I never would see myself doing this up to the age I actually doing this. I was like, no, no way, but me actually doing this, realising whoever you are, no matter where you're from, whoever she is, she can do anything with her ability. It doesn't matter who you are, it's just you've got to believe in yourself. It's like you don't you're never going to get there, but as long as you do it, you'll always be on this list. Thank you so much, Sarah. Take your final walk.